not a roll at all. It's a high speed stall spin. That goes plenty fast enough at their shows, doesn't it? Do the same thing in Cessna 150 in a skidded base to final turn. So if you want to get the behavior that's designed into the wing to give you the warning, we need to have good yaw control. We need to pay attention to the yaw awareness. Then I have a slide here. This is the uh, outboard leading edge, modified outboard leading edge, which you might find on uh, the Columbia now Cessna 300, 350, 400. Uh, this happens to be the Cirrus. And if you notice, if you look, you can kind of tell that the outer part there is tipped forward, isn't it? The outer part of that wing is operating at a lower angle of attack than the inner part. So which part's going to stall first? The inner part. Well, that's good news, right? Now it's trying to mimic the behavior of a rectangular platform. Also, you might wonder, well, you know, the, the airplane salesmen, they hate that edge right there. They hate that hard discontinuity, right? That, you wouldn't find that on a Ferrari. That would be fared in, wouldn't it? So that it looks nice, so it blends in. There's a reason that it's like that. And the reason is that edge throws a vortex over the wing. And that vortex acts like an invisible stall fence. So as the stall migrates out toward the wingtip, it bumps up against that little tornado. And it delays it from getting out to the aileron. So there's an aerodynamic trick there. And then, of course, Cirrus went and they, they, they helped it even further by putting a stall strip there. They're forcing it to do certain things. 